All right, guys. Hi, this is Mrs. Rona, and we're going to talk through proportional reasoning, um, how to solve the first method on how to solve these problems using equations and variables. So our question is, how much longer will the dart be in the air if height is doubled? So when I see a problem like this, if I'm going to use equations and variables to solve it, I need to know what variables are changing. So how much longer means I'm changing time. If height is doubled, that would be changing the delta y, how much how high it's going in the air. So I'm gonna look at my kinematic equations and I'm gonna look list out, I'm gonna start with all three. So the way I list them, um, a little bit different than maybe the equation sheet. Okay, so that's the first one. And then we've got this one. And the third one is the velocity squared equation. So whenever you're doing proportional reasoning with equations and variables, you need to pick an equation that relates those variables you're wondering about, so time and height. So looking at these three equations, if it's time, this equation's out, that doesn't have time in it. Height's not in this one, so this is the equation we're going to use. You always want to pick an equation that has both variables in it. All right, so we start with the equation, delta y equals one-half acceleration times time squared plus initial velocity y times time. Now again, we're talking about a dart going up and coming straight back down. Um, some things I, I need to look at, like what variables do I know here? So delta y, we know that's gonna double, so that's one of my variables I know. The acceleration, this is in free fall, so that's gonna be negative 9.8. Time we know, because that's gonna be, we're looking at our unknown variable. Initial velocity in the y. Now this proposes an issue for us. We don't know how fast it's going, and if I think reasonably about this, can I say it's staying the same um, from before to now? I can't really say that because if it's gonna go longer in the air, it's gonna go higher, this is gonna change. So this variable becomes an issue. I'm not sure what to do about that. So what we're gonna look at is instead of looking at the dart going up and down, Let's look, just look at the second half of the motion, the dart going down. Why would we look at that? Because then at the very top, we can say the initial velocity is zero, and now we can just worry about just the second half of the motion. Cool, so if the initial velocity is zero, the nice thing is this whole term goes away. Zero times time is zero. So now I have an equation I can work with that's relating time, height, and it's got a constant in there which we know is acceleration. So when you solve proportional reasoning problems, you wanna do show the original, so kind of how long the dart would be in the air if height was just one, and then how long would the dart be in the air if height was double? So we're gonna split this up into two. So the first one I'm gonna call the original, and on the AP exam you need to be very explicit that you're showing like a comparison between the two. The second one I'll do will be when the height is two times bigger, so two times delta y. All right, so in the original, I can write my equation as delta y is equal to one half acceleration times time squared. Now the question asks about time, how much longer? So I'm gonna rearrange to get time by itself. So I can bring the two over, two delta y equals a t squared. Um, I can rearrange um, again so that I get 2 delta y divided by acceleration is equal to time squared. And so I get an equation for time where it's the square root of 2 times delta y divided by acceleration. So that's an expression for the original time. So now let's try it for the 2 times the height. So now what you need to do is put that two times in the equation. So instead of delta y on the left, I have two delta y, set that equal to one half acceleration times time squared. Again, we're looking for how does time change. So I'm gonna rearrange to solve for time. So now I have two times two delta y divided by acceleration is equal to time squared. And so we get an equation for time is equal to the square root of four delta y over acceleration. 
So now I have these two equations. I want to know kind of how they compare. All right, so now that we have these two equations, proportional reasoning means we want to know by what proportion is this new value different from this old value. Um, and so that square root makes it a little bit difficult, but basically what I want is I want to keep this thing, but put some number out in front. So like how many times of this is this new one? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate this into square root of four is two times two, delta y over a. Now why am I separating that out is because I need to keep a root two in there. So I wanna keep one of these twos in there, the other one I'm gonna take out. And so what I'm left with is time, the new time is gonna be square root of two times that root two delta y over a. Now this entire thing over here is the same as our original time. And so my proportion out front tells me how much the time has changed by. So to answer the original question, time is root two times longer. The dart will be in the air root two times longer if it goes twice as high.